Hi everyone, welcome to Sunfire TV. I am Sophia, also known as Mama Sunfire, and I'm the Mixtures Maven at Sophie Soaps and Such, So You Cosmetics, and Simply Sophie Beauty Essentials. Uh, today, I guess I'm going to do this as a part two to the video that I did um, earlier when I talked about the herbs that I'm going to use to create a um, cold remedy or a cold tonic. And um, so I'm not going to belabor this uh, introduction, I'm just going to get right on into it. So if you stay tuned, I'll share with you all of the ingredients that I'm going to use to create my own herbal remedy. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. My daughter is helping me with this. This is absolutely horrible. Uh, anyway, um, I don't have the good lighting like I normally have, so please forgive the lighting. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Pardon my pajamas, uh, but this is how we work it. So uh, what I want to go ahead and do is show you how to, um, what uh, ingredients you need to pull together for the tonic for your cold. So you're going to start off um, with a half an onion. This is a large onion, so I'm just going to do half. You can just rough cut it. It doesn't have to be um, cut well because you're not going to, you don't need it to be cut well. And so you just put that in your pot. You can follow me, camera person, and see the <laughs> onions in the pot. And then you want to use, want to use garlic. I don't know if you can see the garlic. Can you see the garlic? <laughs> This is fresh garlic, um, homegrown, came out of somebody's garden. So this is a lot stronger. You can see what I'm doing if you want to, uh, camera person. Um, you just put two cloves of garlic. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, okay. Take it off. Smash the garlic up. The hole off. Get off their hole. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Boy, the onion is strong. My eyes already burning. All right, so you got that. That's the basic ingredient. I mean, the um, basic stuff you want to use as fresh. That's all the fresh stuff that I have right now. Uh, also, okay. So whatever you see in the background going on back there, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about that. So we will get to our next part. So I've already got the uh, onions inside. Now I'm going to add my uh, roots and seeds. So follow me camera person over here. Can you see? <laughs> see I have um, cinnamon bark. This is cinnamon bark. So I'm going to use the cinnamon. And I'm also going to use the clove. Put that in there. Um, we're going to use some turmeric and this is fresh ground turmeric that I got from a, a market from fresh from the fresh root um, I'm also going to use anise seed and we've already talked about this in the first video but we need this for inflammation and expectoration to get the expectorant it's an expectorant expectorant right expectorant <laughs> and um, then we got a uh, licorice root I think I'm gonna use this for later I'll say this for later um, Oh, you can follow me, camera person, when I move now. This is my oranges. Uh, these are fresh orange peels that I dried myself. You have to be so close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so we're going to use that. We're going to put it in there. This is fenugreek seed. This is awesome. So we're going to put fenugreek seed in the pot. So all of these are going in the pot and it's going to simmer. Fenugreek seed is awesome. It is, it's, it's awesome for circulation, inflammation. Uh, it's great for hair loss as well. So this is fenugreek seed. And we're going to put that in there. And uh, what else we got? Dandelion roots. Dandelion roots. I harvested these myself and dried them myself. Can you see that camera? Turn it around. Turn it around. Dandelion roots. You can see it better this way. Can you see the roots? Yeah. Okie dokie. So we're going to add that and I think that's what I'm adding right in the pot. Uh, and I think I also have some echinacea root I'm going to add. Can you see me camera person? Okay. 
I'm going to add some echinacea root to the pot and I'm going to simmer that just for a little bit for about 15 minutes or um, I, I'll just come back and check it. I don't want it to simmer too long and I don't want to put it at a high heat so I do it kind of uh, number five or medium low. Um, so uh, and then I'm going to use my yellow dock root as well. So follow me to, to my pot over here. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is, because I don't do exact, are you seeing me? Okay, I don't do exact measurements, so um, I just go with spirit or go with my um, instinct, and I just put in what I think I need to put in. Oh God, it smells so good. You want to smell on the camera first? Mm. You put the camera down. Oh. I just want to smell it in the camera. Smell oh. the camera person. Okay. And so now I'm going to shake just a little bit some orange rind and some oranges. Can you see that camera person down here in the pot? Down in the pot camera person. Boom. So there's no water. I didn't want to put water in there. So I wanted you to see this. Can you see it in the pot camera person? Okay. Okay. So we're going to put some oranges in there. <laughs> For the vitamin C, and we want to just break up some um, cinnamon bark and stick that in there. So I do maybe two, three pieces of cinnamon bark. I'm just going to break that and stick it in the pot. And now we get to the fun stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is add some anise seed. This is the anise smells like the licorice. Anyway, I don't know where she's going, but the anise seed is uh, the, 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 the licorice that you normally would taste. It's usually anise. So I'm going to put a little anise. Wait, I'm not going to put it in there. I'm going to put it in my little mortar and use my mortar and pestle here. I'm going to put it in there. So that's about, I would say, a little over a teaspoon. Can you see in my little pot here? A little over a teaspoon. Can you see it? Okay. Now I'm going to add some fenugreek seeds. Can you see me? About a teaspoon. Then I'm going to add the turmeric. Couple of big chunks in there. I would say that's like a fourth of a teaspoon there. Uh, yeah, it's about a fourth of a teaspoon. And I'm going to add a few cloves. So that's about uh, a pinch or so. Can you see that? Okay. And I'm going to do my dandelion root. Now, dandelions tend to be a little uh, bitter. So here are my dandelion roots that I dried myself. And I'm putting in about three, three roots here. You can see that there. Can you see it? Okay. Um, put that in there. And what else do I have? That's it for now. And then I'm going to grind it up. And I always, generally, I generally try to grind it up going clockwise. Um, generally, um, that is to put in uh, the health and uh, healthy, positive energy, as opposed to going clockwise means to take it out. So I'm going to go clockwise and just, is that a lot of noise? Oh, sorry. Just grind it up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely ground. I just wanted to break up some of the seeds. And so, and break up the root because the root is really hard. So, generally, you want to do a decoction if you have roots, and an infusion if you have seeds and flower. I mean, um, flowers and petals, uh, petals and leaves. You'll do an infusion, and a decoction if you want to do roots and seeds. So, I'm breaking it up a little bit just to get it so it won't be so hard. And there you go, Mama. Can you see that? Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to add that to my pot. Add that to my pot here. 
Uh, also, in this, I think that I'm going to add a little thyme. It just kind of feel like I need to add it. I didn't wasn't going to add it originally, but to this, I just feel like I need to add a little thyme. So I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of thyme and add that there. Okay, now we're going to add the water. I added my water uh, and I'm going to turn my stove on. I'm going to start off with it on uh, number seven or eight, kind of high, just so that it can get uh, get to boiling, and then I'm going to cut it down. But while I'm doing that, I need to go ahead and add my ginger. This is my dried ginger root that I dried myself. And um, I was going to add fresh ginger, but I just decided to do the dry. Can you see? Um, once you use this is a good bit so I would say that that is like a tablespoon table about a, a two tablespoons uh, one and a half yeah of ginger I'm gonna crunch that up just a little bit Ooh, that smells wonderful You see? Okay, just go ahead and add that to the mix. Alrighty, and I like to use metal. Where's my wooden spoons? And go ahead and just give that a little stir and just wait for it to begin. You see? You see? <laughs> Get the boiling process going. Now, turn it up a little bit. And move this out of the way so now what I'm thinking about doing now I like spicy stuff so I'm going to add a little kick to mine I was going to do it at at the part at the point where I was going to where I do the the leaves and the flowers but I think I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this and of course if you guys know me I already have turmeric in there but you know I got to add me some cayenne pepper it's got to be a little spicy so I'm going to do a little cayenne pepper and in here, I'm not going to put it in my hand because I wind up getting it on my face, on my eyes. So we're going to do just a little bit, one eighth of a teaspoon, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper is, is sufficient. It might be more of a fourth. And then do a little stir and let that get to simmering. Now. What we want to do um, now is to go ahead and do the petals, and I'm going to add that to my my mortar and pestle and kind of crunch that up a little bit. So now we're going to use strawberry leaves here, and we're going to you can follow me, camera person, over here to the part of my mess, uh, the dandelion leaves that I harvested from my uh, summer harvest. Uh, and I got in here, where's my echinacea? I'm going to use my echinacea um, leaves, which is here. So I'm going to use that. And here's my echinacea root that I'm going to add uh, once this boils. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then I'm going to use my... This is my marshmallow root. Yeah, marshmallow root. The marshmallow root. Yes, yes, what yes. Does it look like? Um, it's just a root and it's powdered. It's been ground and powdered. Marshmallow. Is marshmallow the plant? There is a marshmallow plant. Yes. Now, if you can see down in here, um, the herbs have started to boil and the roots have started to boil a little bit. Um, they've gotten hot enough, so I've turned it down. And I'm going to go ahead and let that just simmer a little bit. Now it's time to add the, the rest of the roots that um, I didn't add in that. I'm going to add my echinacea root here. And I'm going to do about a tablespoon of echinacea root. And that is my, can you see it? Huh? 
Okay. Tablespoon. Yes, a tablespoon. Huh? That's a tablespoon. About a tablespoon. You think it's a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Could be a little bit more. But you one to two tablespoons should be sufficient. And um, I'm going to use the licorice root. See, that's what this is. Licorice root. And I'll do about a teaspoon of licorice root. About a teaspoon. Does it smell like licorice? Um, not this one in particular. Yeah, it's usually anise smells more like uh, licorice. And then we're going to use the yellow dock root. Now, the yellow dock root really should have been in that already. Um, so I'm going to add about a teaspoon, maybe two. So about a teaspoon, a little over a teaspoon of yellow dock root. And then I'm going to add my mush marshmallow root. This is already pulverized, so I really don't have to do a whole lot to it. This is what it's called rubbed. This is this soft or powdered. Oh. Do you hear me? <laughs> so that's about a uh, say a little tablespoon. Now we're gonna give that a uh, turn. So I want to get that uh, yellow dot broken up. Here we go. You see that? Into the pot it goes. ready to simmer. I've turned the eye all the way down to about three or four. So just let it get a good simmer. Just keep it warm, but just simmer. Now the last thing I'm going to add, and this won't even, um, I'm adding the, the flowers and the leaves now, but they won't be added in that process there. I'll add them um, after I've already turned it off. So we're going to give that about five to ten minutes and then come back. All right, I'm back. Now, this here uh, are dandelion flowers, and we're going to just add a little bit. If you can look at them here, you can see that. It's a dandelion flower, pardon my fingernails, uh, but add a few flowers here. That's a root and a flower, or a root and a stem. Some dandelion flowers. Um, I would say if I was to estimate, that might be a tablespoon of dandelion flowers to four, one, two, three, four, about four teaspoons of peppermint. We're going to add dandelion leaves that I harvested. So this is what I would consider fresh leaves, even though they're dried um, or freshly harvested. So these are pretty powerful and potent. I don't want to use too much to make it bitter, too bitter. So I'll just do about a tablespoon of dandelions leaves. Can you see that? Yeah. All righty. What happened? You can smell them? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I love rose hips. Rose hips um, are kind of like a berry or cranberry. These are great. These are good. Mm. Want to taste one? Give it to the camera girl. I taste camera girl. But she's shaking the camera. That's nasty. <laughs> These are good. It's like dry cranberry, right? Right? Well, I don't like cranberries. Eat that anyway. <laughs> okay, we're going to use rose, rose hips. And I'm going to do about a teaspoon rose hips. And then I'm going to do echinacea leaves or the, the herb part. 
We do the rose hips and the echinacea leaves, and we're gonna do about two teaspoons. It's looking good in there. Now we're gonna add some red clover. Now these are the red clover. Red clover. Red clover. This is what I got this spring, this summer. Um, I was outside picking these red clovers, and people were looking at me like I was crazy. But let me show it to you. If you can see that. You see? So we're gonna add, see the flowers. Yep. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of red clover. And now this is the calendula flowers. These are like marigolds. And they're from the marigold family. And I'll do about a tablespoon, maybe a two, about a tablespoon, a little over a tablespoon. Marigolds. Now we're going to do what I have left of. This is not enough really to make a cup, but a cup. This is green tea. We're going to put in about a teaspoon green tea. And last but not least, I always like to add a little love, which are rose buds. I always like to add a little love to my mixture. So I'm going to put in some rosebud petals or some rosebuds. There, just a little love. Some me love. It smells like roses. Smell it, everybody. If you're just going to bruise it a little bit or just crunch it up, get that going. Now, this is what they look like here. This is what we have here. That's really nice, very colorful. Huh, you really can't see it. <laughs> um, so now all I have to do is wait for the um, all of the herbs and the roots and stuff to, to simmer a little bit. I got about five more minutes or so and then it will be ready to add um, the flowers and the um, leaves. Let's see how it's working out. Look at there. Oh gosh, that smells good. Why are you looking like that? Hmm? It does smell good. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Down here to smell it. Mmm. I smell clove and cinnamon. Mmm. Smells wonderful. Looks nasty. Smells good. We want that cinnamon to get a little soft there, and we want the um, the roots, the dandelion roots, to get a little soft. And so we're going to let it sit here, and then we're going to wait till the onion leaves get a little bit more the onion petals or the onion to get a little bit more translucent and then we're going to strain this off um, after we let this seep so steep so got a little bit more time okay now uh, everything has simmered it's been about 10 minutes and um, so I'm ready to add the flowers and the leaves I'm going to turn the um, eye off and then add this. You get that? Mm -hmm. So these are all the other parts of this tonic here. It's my favorite plate. And you see it? Now look nasty. And now I'm gonna let that steep. Um, with the eye off for about five more minutes and so a total of about 15 minutes and then I'll be ready to strain it. Now I am back with the last part of the cold tonic that I've been brewing or steeping here on the stove. So cameraman if you just come and pan in a little bit and we, if you can get a good picture. Remember my lighting is not that great so if you can see that it is just about ready. It's all brown and all, and all of the herbs have kind of settled to the bottom, so I know they're pretty much saturated with water. Okay, 
Now, what I'm going to do is try my best to go over here and pour it out. So if you can, cameraman, I have my son helping me now. My daughter quit on me. Okay, can you see what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and pour off the liquid. Can you see it? <laughs> and here are some of the dandelion flowers there and some of the oranges and the uh, onion pieces in there and orange pieces and dandelions and look like that is a yellow bird, uh, what's that, fenugreek seed there. So <clears throat> pour that liquid off there and now you scoop back a little bit cameraman. Now what I'm going to do, can you see me? <laughs> what I'm going to do is go ahead and just scoop up some because it's easier for me to do it that way. So I'm just going to take my cup, get me a little bit of this cold tonic. Let's see if you can see that there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that should be sufficient. As a matter of fact, pour a little bit off of it. And then I'm going to add some honey. This is a wildflower honey. It's actually made locally from a local um, bee farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lack of a better term. You can see me? Yeah. Okay. See you. you can see me. Okay. You can talk. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to add, um, you just add your uh, desired amount of uh, sweetener. I'm adding honey and maybe about a tea, two teaspoons, maybe a tablespoon of honey. That looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. And that is it. So now I'm going to taste it. <clears throat> Whatever sweetener you like, you can add. You can do stevia if you want to. Um, you can use the stevia leaves when you make your tea um, as part of what you um, brew. Or um, you can add dates or whatever and just let the dates uh, boil with the rest of the food so I'm going to taste it boy that's good got a little kick to it from the spices that's great I'm going to drink this tea I'm going to stay in my pajamas I've been in my pajamas all day so I'm going to put on a new pair of pajamas I'm going to get under the cover and I'm going to watch the rest of my Halloween movies. I've seen uh, Hocus Pocus yesterday, this evening. Since I fell asleep, I'm going to watch The Labyrinth. And then I might watch uh, Dark Crystal and something else. So, um, to you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to get in contact with me. You know where to find me. All of my information will be in the description box below. Thanks so much, you guys. Smooches. Bye-bye. Okay, I decided to let my son have a taste. He said he wanted to taste my cold uh, and, uh, I guess, flu oint, uh, tonic. So, this is my son, William. Say hey. How you doing? <laughs> so, he's going to taste it. You know, I tasted it already. So, I'm going to let you get the opinion of somebody else. So, go ahead, somebody else. Standing in front of my herb cabinet there. Yep. <laughs> How does it taste? If you don't get this back, I'm going to drink it all. <laughs> look up. Look up. What? If you don't get this back, I'm going to drink it all. You're going to drink it all? Yeah. It's pretty good? Yeah.